The CDC recently issued a health alert about rising cases of what's commonly known as sloth fever. The virus is often transmitted by small flies and mosquitoes. Since August, more than 8,000 cases have been reported, including two deaths. 21 cases have been in the U.S. and almost all of them in Florida. Okay, so... This is wild. A lot of us have never heard of sloth fever. Yes. So what is it? Yeah, so it's basically a virus. It's called Oropush virus. And it's spread by things like mosquitoes and midges, which are biting flies. Oh. But we generally only find this in South America when people travel. And okay. so what we're seeing is it's travelers who went to Cuba. They must have gotten bit and then they brought the disease back to the U.S. Yeah. And it's also carried, it's carried in sloths and birds and rodents. And that's where it gets its name. Okay, so what do we do about it? Yeah, so I think the number one thing is like, if you are traveling, make sure that you're vigilant and make sure that you use insect repellent because the best thing we could do is not get bitten when we're traveling. And then the thing I worry about, it's truly pregnant women because this virus for a lot of people, it's limited. They get fevers and dizziness, they don't feel well, but then they get better. But for people who are pregnant, they could potentially pass this along to their fetus. And we have seen fetal complications and congenital complications. Um, and then of course we do say, you know, if you travel and return and have any symptoms whatsoever, mm -hmm. do see a doctor because I actually think this is underdiagnosed. You know, oh. I do think more people might have it, but because it's self-limited and they feel better, they don't end up seeing a doctor. There's no testing done. So anyone who travels definitely get tested because there's other viruses that are similar, like dengue fever and yellow fever. Right. And we want to be able to distinguish exactly what people have. We were talking about this in the newsroom. Obviously, sloths are at the zoo. Yeah. So, it, I mean, is that transmissible? I, don't worry. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not <laughs> sloths that are in the U.S. Yes, of course, okay. they get health checkups and things like that. All right. It's sloths that are in the wild in places like South America. So very few reasons to worry in the U.S. unless you're traveling. But um, but in general, we need to be careful about interacting with wild animals unless yeah. it's supervised. Right. <laughs> so that's, that's good advice for anyone. Just for the record. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Yeah. All right, Natasha, thank you for all that insight on all of our four medical topics. We appreciate you. Thank you.